हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बायोलॉजी है इजी एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंटरडिपेंडेंस ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो एज यू कैन सी देयर इज अ ग्रीन ट्री सन देन अ ह्यूमन वी कैन सी डियर हियर अ स्क्वरल एंड इट इज अ बर्ड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इट इज एन आउ एंड देयर आर सम टर्म्स रिटर्न हेयर विच वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इन टूडेज discussion so students in our environment both biotic components and abiotic components are interacting with each other biotic components include all the living things as for example green plants and trees microorganisms which are not visible to our unaided eyes animals like deer cow buffalo lion tiger hyena even human being also are examples of biotic components then what are abiotic components abiotic components include sunlight air water and soil so both these biotic and abiotic components are interacting with each other so that there is a balance in our ecosystem now let's see how plants and animals are interdependent on one another so first of all we should focus on the term photosynthesis now photosynthesis what can be broken down into two words that is photo and synthesis meaning of photo is light and the meaning of synthesis is to combine so in this process that is during the process of photosynthesis plants are using few raw materials to prepare their own food that is why green plants and trees are known as what they are known as the food factory right so as you can see that actually the leaves are known as the food factory of a plant because in leaves the food is prepared so what are the raw materials that are needed by a plant to prepare its own food so it includes carbon dioxide gas water and minerals from the soil in presence of sunlight and a pigment that is present in green part especially the leaves it is chlorophyll so using these raw materials plants prepare their food which is known as glucose okay which is a carbohydrate and they also release one gas which is oxygen now this gas is used by living organisms to survive without oxygen we will not be able to survive now what happens that during the process of breathing there are two things happening inspiration where we take in oxygen gas and expiration where we give out carbon dioxide gas now the gas that we give out during breathing process is actually carbon dioxide see carbon dioxide now this gas is used by plants in preparation of their food by the process of photosynthesis so see everything is going in a cyclic manner right because plants produce their own food which is known as glucose and they also release very important gas that is oxygen oxygen is required by every living organism in order to survive and when an organism is breathing during the process of expiration they are giving out carbon dioxide which is again used by these green plants to prepare their own food so see plants are dependent on animals for this carbon dioxide gas right and animals are dependent on plants for many things like they are dependent for food that we get from plants and trees they are also dependent on the oxygen that is released by the plants apart from that we get wood and timber from plants also which is used in manufacturing furniture or building our wooden things right so as you can see without animals plant will not be able to survive without plants animals will not be able to survive now think about this situation that if there are 100 plants okay and there are only 10 animals in this situation what is happening 
the balance between the number of plants and number of animals is disturbed because 10 animals will not produce enough carbon dioxide gas which is required by 100 plants to prepare their food. So in this case also plants will not survive for many days and they will eventually die. And if plants die, the 10 animals that are there, they will not get food. So they will also die and our planet earth will become lifeless planet. Now take another condition where the number of animals is 100 and green plants is only 10. So what happens here? The 10 green plants will not be able to produce enough oxygen during the process of photosynthesis that is required by 100 animals. So 100 animals will not get enough oxygen and they will die and due to lack of food also they are going to die. Now if animals are going to die, so what happens? Plants are dependent on animals for which gas? Good, it is carbon dioxide. So green plants are also going to die eventually and it will lead to what? It will lead to lifeless planet earth. So as you can see, there should be a balance between the number of trees and number of animals because both of them are dependent on one another. Green plants are dependent on animals for the gas that is carbon dioxide. Whereas animals and human beings are dependent on plants for many many things. So from today's discussion it is clear that we should plant more trees. Because nowadays we see less trees in our surrounding. Uh, due to deforestation what happens that this balance is disturbed and if it continues like this so one day no one is going to survive in this beautiful planet earth and our planet earth will also lose its beauty we are the only planet like earth is the only planet where life exists so we should like we should try to plant more and more trees so that we can live happily and we can contribute to something better. So I hope you like this session. If you like this video then please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Biology Hai Easy. Till then take care and keep learning.